Uh, October the 23rd, uh, in a house of this candidate here, I was under MK Ultra. I know this female right there from MK Ultra times, just as I know psychologist I will discuss about. Officially, we have only met with a female you have just seen right there uh, for nothing more than handshaking right here in the at the local party. Okay, um, I can tell you about this candidate and what later also became the case with psychologists I'm talking about that due to depression which she suffered uh, this was just a difficult case for the people uh, that would get involved in uh, many did not many suffered consequences okay and just a few years ago uh, was when she started to struggle with depression and her weight uh, increased enormously this used to be a uh, like really really fit uh, like not gonna say skinny but just really fit girl and then all of a sudden due to depression it all exploded uh, not much later psychologists I'm gonna talk about have also faced uh, similar uh, difficulties this ladies have gone through something and I do know something a little about that. This is the kind of stuff I'm going to talk about. So uh, somebody's not going to say we're not going to do any guessing this time. Uh, we're just going to go and stress facts. Hope also to meet some people and get confirmation from them about about my account. Now I am heading to the city's Gersh. And along the way, I'm going to do some interesting stuff, which I possibly could not know if it was not for MK Ultra case. And it's going to be almost all about a psychologist I have mentioned. Uh, maybe if I get lucky, maybe uh, I also get some account confirmation from someone else but now this is what I'm gonna do and let's see how it goes uh, just as I'm heading I can go on I can give a few more details like this I'm right now I'm still in Grotniki here and have found myself uh, I wouldn't say well it's a it's a rail that will take you all the way to uh, Lodge but this, uh, this location right here where I am right now at, this place used to be a school. I don't know if this still is a school. I do not know about this. I can tell you uh, it was renovated, I would say, before 2015. It was renovated one time. This is once I know it was renovated. Dzień dobry. And I can tell you like this, I can tell you that this little house is here, that you see here on the side, right on the side of the fence. Uh, this houses were the last that were built here. How would I know this stuff? Well, because when we were here in Grotniki, and you're talking about Mr. Kaczynski, you're talking about, I don't know Mr. Kaczynski was here. I know Borat Pahar was here, I was here. They had neighbor here, they had the whole crew here from Slovenia. Uh, they had also other people, other uh, whoever came along here to this place. Okay, so you see these little houses. This is this is this was this was not here when I was here. So this this little houses here that you see this probably I would say on this property here probably was built the latest. Now what were we doing here? Okay, when the kids had like uh, vacation that's basically when we would move in okay so 
and stay inside. Um, this was like already kind of luxurious place compared to the other place. Uh, but as far as interior, you know, a typical interior for the students, by the way, you can walk here from one complex to the other. It's a huge property. Uh, as far as interior, maybe I could actually even remember something before they remodel one. Uh, after remodeling, I would not remember interior. I could not give a picture about, and even the interior that I remember uh, inside. It's risky for me to go about. Uh, it's risky. I was in so many residences, so many locations. But I would give a count one. I, I could give a good guess and see if it fits description again. You know, folks, these are not guessings because when you are in so many locations uh, and this thing is happening for a very long time, uh, this is just not an easy thing. And, you know, it's all kinds of manipulation that is done to you. This is just not an easy thing to go about it. You know, when you're under MK Ultra, you go like this, and a blink of the second, you go in coma. In the next split of the second, you can be woken up on some other location. This is how MK Ultra works. So, this is not precisely such an easy thing. Not, uh, pre not precisely such an easy thing. They could take you to another location and, you know, present you a previous location, as location and so on. This, a lot of stuff can be done. It all depends on, uh, like, the stuff they try to do to me over there in Novi Turg and so on. They try to confuse with several issues I have not even mentioned, uh, but they tried big time. And so stuff can be done, uh, timing, timing can be also adjusted with a variety of instruments. That's why Americans insisted on my going forward about what's going on immediately. And I didn't, I hesitated, I postponed as much and as far as I possibly could. Then I became really, really cocky about it. And in a way they were right. Uh, but on the other hand, I don't know who would go and do something like I have done it. Uh, this is like basically jumping in a Atlantic Ocean and uh, saying that you're gonna swim right across the pond. You know, this isn't this is not the decision you do every day. So I'm heading to the Sgirsh right now, and I am giving you right now a count as I have promised about maybe additional account about psychologist uh, whom I have met I should say who met me when brought from United States I'm not gonna go in timing anymore I can say that The only thing I remember is I heard, look what we got, look what we brought with us. Let's go see it. Open my eyes, I see two girls, beautiful girls. Um, blonde this. Which, however, before I have even opened my eyes, I have heard like, uh, you know, talk. I think he's weird. I don't like it. Do you like it? And then it was this third one that, yeah, I like it. And, he, you know, you don't even know who the third one is. Uh, these girls are all beautiful, but... <laughs> You can be uh, the most beautiful girl in the world. Uh, you know, what you want to do is you want to create a positive impression to her from the first moment. Uh, and 
by you know my being just rated this uh, weird ugly uh, did not fit my uh, you know my tolerance uh, I, I didn't tolerate that and have consequently all through all three were beautiful <laughs> And uh, the third one really was the most beautiful. I have rejected all of them. Oh. Uh, and there were some good staff members, MKL Trump members from US, that did care about me. The staff members cared about me. They were not like Donnie. They did care about me. They, they, they want the best for me. They, they would help me out if they possibly could. You know, they, they knew what went on. They liked me. Uh, they like to come along with me uh, and it was just not right what went on and they were concerned about my future and they saw this girl that expressed interest in me they became concerned about my rejecting all of them you know but it turned later on in, in, in MK Ultra Romance for whatever reason, I don't know, uh, she became interested in me and this is a very beautiful girl. I was interested in her from the very first second I saw it. Must admit that. So let's continue. Uh, the blue spot uh, it is indicating exactly address known as Alexandroska 41. Uh, Alexandroska 41. Uh, please pay attention also to this location here. Uh, it's called Recreazina, something like that. Uh, this is the area that we would go, she would personally attend whenever we would go for a, a walk. Whenever I was under MK Ultra, I was subjected to uh, also physical exercise. And this is the direction we would head. Uh, it's quite interesting uh, location, beautiful location. During my stay yet here, uh, when not subjected to MK Ultra right now, here in 2018, uh, government can confirm I have never headed to that direction. But I can tell you, uh, this is a beautiful area one of her her favorite uh, location where she alone uh, she would go uh, I'm not gonna say for a walk she likes biking too so therefore either biking or walk or whatever she was but this is one of the uh, areas she would frequently go to one of her favorite spots I would say uh, yeah uh, Alexandroska 41 uh, right where blue spot is right here uh, and what I'm heading next, uh, just maybe, I would say maybe just two minutes, three minutes, okay, maybe, maybe five minutes from here. Uh, this is what she imagined her dream home would look like. And then in continuation, I'm going to show you another kind of dream home uh, she had in her mind when she was interested in purchasing as the first home. Uh, that was her idea about a home and she was a little bit disappointed to get to this location here this location was basically chosen uh, mostly by her hubby by her husband uh, what you see right here a blue dot this a much smaller home than what she envisioned uh, what she wanted to have in her life uh, but her hubby sort of insisted on this location uh, there are some Russian people here also in vicinity and the location itself uh, closer to Grotniki uh, the other location it's a little bit isolated uh, closer to Zgirsh mm, did not appeal to him but this one did appeal to him so this is a much smaller residence than what she envisioned uh, for herself uh, now of course she did uh, whatever uh, you know 
her hobby decided for her. Okay, so we are heading next to um, what she presented to me as her dream home would be. This resonated where you're about to see next. Uh, I believe it was completed sometimes in 2011, 2012, I estimate maybe, and was about a year or two empty. Okay, uh, it's a little bit backwards because I am walking towards Sitis Gersh where she initially was, I should say where she initially is from. Uh, what do you see, that yellow house, this is this basically these are neighbors. Uh, what do you see here, this goes to the forest if I remember this properly. And this was, uh, this was here, she loves outdoors. Okay, my friends, this is this is the road that will take you to Alexander Lodzki. Uh, and if you if you plan on going through the forest a little bit, it will also take you to Sgirsch. And from there, from either of the two locations, either of the two towns, outskirts of the lodge, you can continue to uh, second biggest city lodge. A little bit more about this location here. Uh, this was the area during which stay here in Grotniki I did not go to, but I remember, I know so, I worked with her, I worked with other staff members. It will take you to the forest. This was one of her favorite locations to go. Now let's continue. This is one of the locations that uh, <laughs> lady I'm talking about uh, would just uh, adhere to her. She loved this location here, okay? Uh, this road is known as Alexandrovsky, I think. Alexandro Lodzki, after Alexandro Lodzki. And the address I'm heading to, I believe, is number 41. So, this should be an easy thing for me to complete. These are her neighbors. I was here. Yeah, it's a quite a busy road. And it can be dangerous too if you're not cautious, if you're not careful enough. After... There are two houses basically she, uh, she was interested in. Okay. Uh, basically have indicated she would be interested in she have chosen instead a smaller house she was interested in another location but instead she have uh, chosen a smaller house but on a little bit more convenient location according to her should be this one here this is the 41 this is the one and it says right there 41 so that's it that's that i think that would do it 41 now let me get lost uh before i cause some troubles now the big donny did have quite a few people that uh try to uh get me uh, with different kind of locations, stuff like this. Uh, they did took me on a on a ride, so also uh, different people got me at different times in their hands. So there were some other locations also they have presented me with uh, to get me a little bit confused about it all. Uh, the next thing what I'm going to do is and. I'm gonna point you out, this really depends on her, if she's gonna say yes or no, if she's gonna give me a, a green light for this account. There is a house, not too far from where we just were, maybe, I don't know, maybe like five minutes walk, something like this. You know, it's just something she dreamed about, if I would have a house, what a house would look like. So now I'm gonna present you, but this really depends on her. Uh, this whole thing depends on her. And, uh, 
authorities, whatever. I hope I didn't go too far talking and have missed that house. No, I don't think I did. So hopefully that I'm gonna demonstrate you what her dream home would look like. Now this is about five minutes away from uh, what I believe, if, unless they totally misrepresented me, like they totally confused me, okay? But I believe that this is, not that I believe, this is what she told me uh, the home, her dream home would look like, like this. Exactly like this. This house here, this was built, I think, sometimes. I estimate, I would say sometimes in 2000 and um, like sometimes in 2012, maybe something like this, unless I'm totally confused on timing. Uh, it's populated now, but you can see her idea about what a good looking home would look to her. So. Her dream home. And we continue towards gear. About next, what I'm about to do is demonstrate you a house which might and might not be. Uh, one of the residences she is settled in. It is possible that could be her place. Uh, it's very, very possible. However, like I said, they have used almost like doppelgangers of her to convince me and to other locations. So for this one here, I'm well, I'm not as much sure as the one in Sgir, in the city of Sgir, which I'm going to show you. Uh, but uh, this is like a solid uh, statement I'm making that this was one of the locations she was resided uh, with her ex, with her ex-husband, okay? So, we're gonna do it like this. I cannot say for 100% that this is what it is, okay? The next one I'm about to show you. They did mention me. Was she the one that mentioned? Was someone else? You know, witnessing also depends on the amount of whatever they have used they would give. And it's not so easy to just create perception under circumstances like this. Easily you can make a mistake. Uh, this really is in your hands. Uh, it really is up to you. I did not time, but I estimated about 25 minutes from previous location, from what you have seen, she had moved to Grotniki area, her dream home uh, would be this location uh, where the pro-Russian girl tried to uh, mislead me on issues. And it's a big time I mentioned this because I do like uh, this to get investigated and find out who uh, this individual really is. Uh, I didn't for this to be scam. Uh, about 25 minutes down. Um... Well, one more time, this residence. Uh, I am very certain this is a non related to her residence uh, right across. On the other side across the, the road there's like a side road that merges into this road okay here is what it is oh the kgb tried to present me this location as her authentic authentic location so uh, it's really hard to tell but just in case uh, i did mention one and perhaps five minutes down the road what you are about to see right now this thing here uh, turn into 
so kind of decent sized little private forest property very beautiful uh, and this was presented to me like her dream place uh, where she would like something like this that appeals to her that she would frequently come to visit to this place now if you and she just happened to be like number one choice when I was subjected to MK Ultra and you're subjected to this type of treatment this will treat triggered in you a lot of sentiment a lot of feelings uh, for the person you have spent under MK Ultra quite some time and so that's a really dangerous MK Ultra because you see the beautiful nature you're about to see right now and you could easily say you know uh, hey you kind of fantasize about her feelings whatever you could easily say this is how it's done this was her residence actually and this was one of the favorite locations of hers no most likely this was not the location uh, one of her locations so this is just how manipulative this stuff can be misleading and can cause uh, lots of troubles to one okay there you have it i'm approaching to the next location ha. it's a possibility it's a possibility i will explain why possibility um in addition to what i have stated they tried to mislead me big time they tried to mislead me big time they tried to mislead me and for this one here i am i am not certain i cannot say that this is what it is but it might be Ah, okay, it's a possibility, and in a little bit in continuation, I will explain to you why I think it's a possibility. Okay. Not necessary, uh, let's say just a possibility. So, I don't like doing this. I'm not even sure what number this was. I don't like doing this at all, but right here you can see is 102. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get... Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get like a little map, Google map snap, and continue to that forest right there. It's just like a little forest. Just maybe a minute away, uh, if that is her home at all. I am really suspicious about it, uh, very suspicious about that, and I can give you a whole account about that stuff, uh, not really convincing enough uh, for me to bite that that was her home for fact. Uh, maybe, maybe not, uh, I was suggested that this little private, like little private forest and if that is her residence okay if that's her residence it would be just a minute away in this direction here okay if that's her house uh like i said there were so many people involved in this stuff i went from one hand to another they handed me along to the people like you hand like almost like I don't know, like you, you go on assembly line, like cars go on assembly line, like car travels on assembly line, this is how they handed me over uh, to different kind of people, and there were many people disliked me uh, because, because of the ignorance, because they didn't know any better, because now they know, now they can see what's happening 
and you in Ukraine and in Poland and everywhere else they can see the whole world can see what's going on but back then it was not like this back then was like totally totally different situation okay was suggested that if she could she would have like a little forest like this one here and this is where she frequently goes to this place here uh, it's a cute little story okay it sounds really really cute is this true uh, it might it might not be I do not know for fact I only know that as we would go to this gear and back uh, she would be present oftentimes and I know that she embraced local forests here um, but don't know about this particular location and I'm not really certain about that house who is inside of that house that's something yet we had to find out uh, is that like her double ganger or is it uh, that was involved in MK Ultra and was like uh, trying to obtain something else like I said there was all kinds of stuff going on all kinds of gimmicks uh, it had people like when I would walk uh, on streets on the road that under MK Ultra they would be like they would tell me which way to go okay so now you walk uh, on the road and you you're actually heading to the right direction you get somebody giving you a signal with a car slows down a car and goes like like this and resembles another individual that was involved in MK Ultra and uh, things like this this is what I'm talking about this is a MK Ultra stuff so that happened this here is a possibility that also was one of the versions that was used uh, in that sense I there's a whole story even behind the little car a uh, little Toyota uh, that should save her a fuel to university in Lodge uh, which made me very concerned for her safety and the second thing is um, when I was told about this if, is this true or not I, I have no clue because uh, I know her taste for the cars too she likes a hatchbacks she likes like a caravan like uh, a hatchback car like um, like let's say like Fort Mondeo hatchback that would be her taste uh, she had few cars uh, one car made me really concerned that was kind of a luxurious car if this was her car uh, like that was already like I don't know what that was it looked like a SUV or some kind of really good car white and that concerned me about payments car payments uh, in respect to job stability if she can afford and stuff like this and it was like don't worry so that's that's the type of taste that's her kind of taste is like that kind of taste uh, let's just say hatchbacks this is her taste this is the kind of car uh, she would like now this private little forest with the house probably she wouldn't mind but this is like this this could be very tempting and what this would be this would be a guess I'm not 100% about this house here it's also a tempting story about a little car uh, that would save you a fuel from here all the way to Lodge uh, if you would travel but I I don't know like I said it, it, I doubt I doubt this one I think the girl that was involved in this actually is her doppelganger uh, but we're gonna find out sooner or not let's go to her location let's go to her area to Sgirsh she is from Sgirsh she grew up in Sgirsh made a lot of friends in Sgirsh she's well known in Sgirsh and she would also come to Grotniki as a child likes Grotniki uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna present you with location which she uh, basically she grew up okay so let's go yeah as we go uh, along to Sgirsh uh, this already would be interesting to her we did go here for a walk 
Uh, I was also told where I can take apples and where I cannot. But, uh, you know, I... I rather not, whatever. Um, but this this is the area that appeals to her. This is just maybe maybe five minutes away from where we were, maybe something like that. And a little further down as we go, as I go, um, there are a few beautiful houses. And she got into a deal which she almost struck with a signature uh, but then i don't know what happened was it i don't know too expensive whatever the deal was i have no idea what happened uh, was she there or not i don't think so i think the deal kept falling apart did not go through uh, they didn't go further down to that location She dreamed about this through my case and if that house over there in I have a little friend coming to me say hello hello the cat how beautiful oh that is a special kind of visit Oh, no, that's that's quite nice. That is nice. I wish I could just take him with me. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's really beautiful. Okay, the thing is that uh, if she did end up over there in Grodniki, she really ended up over there because of me, because we were based in Grodniki. So uh, there's a there's a really a pos strong possibility that that's where she ended. Uh, then, because of me, because of this case. I'm not gonna take him with me, but you are so beautiful. Huh? You are so beautiful. Sure is a beautiful. That will be my kind of choice. Alright, so uh, heading to this gear. And let's see basically what uh, what will happen. There are some beautiful houses here. It's very beautiful. And this is how she started to develop uh, maybe an appetite uh, for this area here. Although she she liked Grotniki since she was little. Okay. What uh, appealed to her is a second house, and this is basically the location. Uh, it's something like this she had in her mind she was interested in this is on my way as I was heading toward this gear uh, basically that's exactly uh, what she wanted but then her hobby somehow convinced her that location wise I would be just better for her to settle um, for the other house, even that other house probably is, I don't know, even if it's like a third of this, of the house, the size of this house here. But this is what she wanted to have. This was something uh, aesthetic, a little bigger, that appealed to her. Yeah, that's a beautiful house. This was a house also, I think, of her interest here. And right next to this house, uh, a chapel, like this, beautiful one. Uh, I believe that the girl on Yedlichka 102, 104, whatever that is, that I doubt about, uh, is a Ruski related, in that time it was like this, that um Putin was a hero they were great 
Ah, uh, so, and I was just a necessary evil, that's all I was. Yeah, and it was really necessary to mess me up. Uh, this is really what I believe, but... We're gonna see. We're gonna see who that girl is. Okay, this is a lot of forest uh, I'm going through. Just like a little forest right now. Basically the same thing was done by Ruskis, by... Uh, you know, call this a church and helpers. Uh, they're all Russian citizens. But not all are the same. Like I said, there might be two families that are not part of this, uh, you know, Kadiro team, Kadiro Moscow, Ramson Kadiro Moscow team, okay? Uh, but Valerio uh, and the whole team is this now. They did it, demonstrating what, how they would, and this and that. Maybe I'm gonna help, maybe I'm gonna demonstrate to you a location where they just unarmed killed or guaranteed me. All right, this is where we got, we're gonna come out, out of the forest, and actually they came out in the scenario that they had demonstrated me a movie. I don't know the actor's name was a guy like this that would walk uh, through the forest and uh, uh, then another guy appear right in front of him on a trail like this and then more join him and the guy tried to turn around and were already <laughs> other guys behind him and stuff like that. Just, just stuff like that, just really crazy stuff. Uh, these people should just go and work in Hollywood I think. But similar, 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 similar stuff as they have done over there in Slovenia, in this local forest. Oh, you're gonna be taken, we're gonna hijack you, we're gonna take you, uh, you know, any moment, any moment, whatever. So I'm heading to Sgirf right now uh, to def definitely to her location her first location and we'll give you an account about that one my opinion about Mr. Kaczynski is, is uh, a really good person inside of him but he fell under impression under something and he can be taken too far uh, a really good person, a really good ideas, but my opinion is that when when he likes something, some idea, when when it appeals to him, uh, he takes it too far. Basically, this is really my opinion about him and peace. That's all I got to say about this. Okay, right now uh, we could, I could say that. I'm in her play yard, in her backyard. This is where she spent a lot of time in this forest here. What you see here, this thing here was... I. This is like... I, I remember this since I was first time here. Um, there is some building over there that is abandoned. Uh, this is just a forest. Just... I'm gonna say behind her... Uh, apartment complex uh, there's like there's not like a just let's say apartment building like mid size I would say apartment building not exactly high rises like in the US but apartment buildings where I'm taking you right now that's not where she grew up basically okay where she she grew up uh, she, as far as I remember, she was born in Zgersh, but it was on the opposite town uh, side of the town, which she took me there. I don't know. We went there like two, three times. 
stupid me maybe more but it will be a guessing the only thing I remember on the other side of the town and I'm gonna try to do my best look a little bit you know toward the library area uh, but then again there are two libraries here so again uh, not enough information uh, but I'm gonna make a guess I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna make a guess like guess like guess like totally guessing where basically where she was from from which part of the this gear she was from okay right now I'm basically taking you to uh, what she told me is if things would not work out then she would always come back to this place to this location here so basically what I am obviously things didn't work out with her ex I am kind of taking now to uh, stupid me, dummy me, whatever uh, taking my camera straight to your home um, straight to your uh, I don't know if this is still your residence but at least it was and so that's exactly where we are heading I am certain I'm certain about this one unless of course I was pulled for the nose uh, again anything is possible but you know that's only as much as I can do this here this one she was a uh, growing up with her friends this uh, I don't know the whole thing uh, maybe even a teenager I don't know when she, when did she move to this uh, with a family with mom to this side of the town I have no clue about that uh, the only thing I remember is that she they were from the opposite side of the town toward probably I would say toward library toward that in that direction I remember she was show they were showing me something she was showing me something I'm not completely sure about that all right let's go to uh, her place now I'm gonna make a guessing I think it was like on this side I would say in the middle but this this really is a guessing it might have been also the other garage uh, just really really guessing here right now I know that one time she had a brand new car and I think the car was I'm not sure but I think it was white but what you see right there that's her style right this like this like let's see the Passat you see right there that's her type of the car she likes but that car I'm not sure I'm not really sure what kind of car that was I think it was white yeah, and I got really concerned about the payments because it looked like a like expensive car. I don't know what it was. I just remember that. And pretty much this is what I am talking about right now. This is like a lot, a lot of buildings like this. It's like maybe three square kilometers, maybe of what you see here nah not that much I would say maybe two square kilometers of what you see right here is where we are heading and I'm gonna point you out I'm gonna point you out unless I was duped how <laughs> big time uh, this is where she was at least This is where she went through as a teenager, uh, probably where she liked it the most, got a lot of friends, 
uh, met her first love, I bet, uh, became professional after she attained university. Um, mom and dad, as a family as they came, eventually separated. Um, mom did together, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they stayed together with mom. Then she would go and rent her own place. Um, I'm not really sure, was it actually in the same building? Something like this. But this is the building definitely she was in. Um, pretty much, again, after they moved from location, which I'm about to show you next. That would actually be her birth house. This is where... Where we, where we are heading next, uh, she grew up as a child. Basically, from what I can recall, uh, you see this, like this, this type of the car, like this, this is her style. Uh, from what I remember, it was something like, I'm gonna go even a little further, okay? They were here with the family, meaning that it just, it just got to be more memory, you know? As I open one chapter, then the other one opens. It was something like she said, we were here, here, and then we were there. I have just walked from her doorsteps where her doorsteps were. Put it this way I think it was also the building when they moved from their house I think was the one right there that one now, I got a little bit confused I admit because uh, I was taken to her friends in this building but I'm pretty damn sure now it's the building right there that's the building right there uh, Make sure so that you see it, so that you see the building. Yeah, and a little bit I'm gonna go behind the building. I'll take the number. I will not forget on the NK Ultra when they were placing uh, like a little flyers, you know, stuff that I have done. I was told do not place place one under, you know, basically in a play yard, in front of the play yard where the children play, that would be right here too. Otherwise I was taken to the neighbors. Under MK Ultra this can be very confusing, but I'm pretty damn certain that right what you see right there, uh, that would be the entrance to where she was where she moved uh, then basically on her own because with the family when they moved I think they had a house they had a house uh, to this area uh, they were staying behind an uh, apartment building uh, I think is the one you see here so it was something like this and That's just a fact. Uh, now all it takes is to get these things confirmed and only one person can do that if she wants. That's that. I'm gonna get location from the Google Maps and then next I'm heading toward area uh, where supposedly they had a house. Okay. I do know about Most likely, I do know about location that she moved from here. I think I do. Uh, I know the area at least, but that is something I'm not going to point out. Uh, it is, however, uh, it would be if this is if this is okay. If this is the play yard here, and maybe she can. It would be in this direction here. Okay, so. 
that's something I would not go into. I wouldn't want some weirdos to get on her, to get her some weirdos on the doorsteps. That's something I'm not gonna do. Otherwise, I'm really done here now. I was a little bit confused. Uh, I know that we went inside of this building here too, but it was the building right there. So that would be 77 in that case. That's that.